What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Willis Mackey Jr. here, professional basketball player from the Bahamas. Thank you so much for coming to the channel today. As you may know, because of basketball, I've had the pleasure of traveling the world and playing this game in just a short amount of time. I'm going on to my third season as a pro and I played in two countries so far, which is Spain and France. It's been a crazy experience and something that I cherish and it's kind of the reason why I document it on YouTube and I try to bring it to you guys to provide information, of course, to give you a taste of what it's like to be a professional basketball player overseas that might not be the big NBA star or this and that. It's not the only route and there's a lot of ways out there you can make money playing basketball and I try to help out as much as I can on this channel. So in today's topic we are comparing France versus Spain in our overseas journey. So I'm going to be basing everything that I say today on experience. So without further ado let's get into it. Before we start, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know every time I post, and of course, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything of that nature. I'd be glad to get back to you. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is play style. From my experience playing in Spain and watching the highest level, which is the ACB, I notice a few similarities no matter what league you are playing in. First thing, point guards are leaders. Point guards are facilitators. Point guards are essentially there to get everybody in the right place doing the right thing. They don't really look to point guards to score as much. I'm not saying that that's not possible, but they really like point guards who are more facilitators, who can defend the ball, who can essentially put everybody in their spots and make sure that everything on the court is running very smoothly. In France, it's not very different. They still want you to be a facilitator. They still want you to defend, but I feel like in France, I've seen a lot more scoring point guards rather than pass first point guards. And in Spain, I feel like it was the opposite. I saw more pass first point guards than I saw scoring point guards. And if we're talking about play style in French basketball, players are a lot more athletic. They're a lot more run and gun players because there's a lot more athleticism. In Spain, it's not that the players are less fast. Their play style is just a little bit different. Bigs also have different roles in these leagues. In Spain, I feel like they rely a lot more on finesse. You always get Spanish bigs that can shoot, that can also defend and can also rebound however they are not going to bang bang bodies all day and just post you all day no they're looking for that nice clean fadeaway they're looking for that nice clean jump hook that's what they're looking for and of course their pick and pop game is top tier in france i feel like they rely heavily on that pick and roll their big men are expected to roll look for the ball and go up strong they are banging bodies i feel like you could get away with not shooting as much in france as long as you hold up your other end of the bargain which is the rebounding which is the defending yeah. Point number two, physicality. I always get the question when I'm home, yo, is it physical overseas? Like, is it tougher to play overseas? The simple answer is yes, because the rules kind of allow it. There's no defensive three seconds. So players can literally just sit in the paint and wait for you to get there. Every time you walk through the paint, somebody's hitting you, somebody's banging you. Every time you take a dribble and the double team comes, they're coming at you heavily because they can literally just sit in the paint and wait as i mentioned in france players in my opinion are a lot more physical they are looking to buying bodies hey and to keep it real a lot of these guys are of african descent so they are big tall strong guys like you know what I try and say. In no way I'm saying that Spain isn't physical because of course I want to say they are like what top five in the world in basketball. I think Spanish people rely a lot more on IQ basketball and they want to outsmart you and more than they want to just come straight at you and bang and just kind of play out of control. They play very composed basketball. I just think that the French game is just a lot more physical. They are trying to go at you with everything. Yeah. And my final point that I'm gonna talk about, of course, as an overseas basketball player, you live in these countries. You're not just a basketball player that goes to the gym and then flies back home. You are in these communities, you live amongst these people. For me personally, I'm a French resident at this moment. Like I have a French residency card. I pay taxes in France. So this point is extremely important, which is off court cultural differences between these two countries. So I made a video a while back, which is one of my top videos on this channel. You should go check it out. Let's keep that, you know, let's keep that going, you hear me? <laughs> Let's keep that going, you know what I mean? I essentially talk about the five things I loved about living in Spain. 
I'm going to be doing that exact video for France in the next coming weeks in order to really explain my experience in France as well. But the reason this is important is because culturally these two places are different. Once again, I don't think one place is better than the next. I just think that they're different. Of course, your off-court experience varies based on what part of the country that you live in. It's a simple principle. For example, if you live in New York City, your experience would be much different than if you live in a small town in Mississippi. I think Spanish culture just was more similar to my culture being from the Bahamas, seeing that they were a little bit more laid back people. And generally I'd say that we are laid back people as well. That culture was a little bit more easier for me to adapt to. Now, when I got to France last season, I was obviously in a big city and I am from a small place. So it was a little overwhelming. Like people definitely are different in bigger cities. But when you drive out and you go into the smaller parts of France, you realize that people are a lot more friendly. It's kind of the big city versus small town mentality situation. Overall, in terms of France versus Spain, they aren't very different in my opinion. They speak different languages but I kind of wrap them all into European culture. They do a lot of things similarly, and I personally find it all interesting, which is why I love living in Spain, and I also love living in France and going back to France. So I definitely love living in France. So those are the three things that I wanted to mention today in this video, just talking about the differences in playing in France versus, of course, playing in Spain and my experiences, and maybe these things can help you out in your journey as you pursue overseas basketball which if you're a basketball player in college and you've had a good career I think you should really consider it because it's so rewarding you essentially get to play the sport you love and travel the world for free it's not a bad deal you put in the work you do your part overseas it's very rewarding trust me on that stick with it stick with your process and for the people out there that is looking to get overseas you're in the right place check out some of my other videos and some of the advice that i give to younger players and of course current players who are looking to get overseas be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel i hope y'all enjoyed the video turn on the notification bell as well can't forget that leave a comment down below until the next video i'll see y'all later peace